Шановні друзі, триває 72-й день активних Dear friends, the 72nd day of the active phase of the Russian-Ukrainian war continues. From now on, I will report once or twice a week, or depending on sudden changes in the general situation, which requires immediate informing. Nevertheless, if we look at the perimeter of our country, we see that the fiercest fighting is taking place in three main directions. This is, first of all, the Luhansk region. The enemy is trying to surround Rubizhne, Popasna and Severodonetsk. This is the Slovensk kramatorsk direction from Izum and Barvinkove. The enemy attempts to break through the old line of demarcation in the Avdiivka area and surround our troops. The second direction is from Hulaipove to Zaporizhia, and the third is from Kherson on the right bank of the Dnipro river to Krivoyrikh. The enemy is concentrating its greatest efforts in the direction from Izum to Kramatorsk Slovensk and in the Popasna and Severodonetsk area. He focuses main efforts in these directions. However, the enemy is unable to advance, and our troops are conducting a defensive operation that is going well for our side, albeit at a considerable cost. The enemy is also trying to finish off the defenders of Azov Stal plant. I think they are trying to do it by May the 9th, to bring a gift in inverted commas on a silver platter to Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation. But let's hope it doesn't work out. And while the defenders of Azov Stal are waging a very unequal battle with the overwhelming forces of the enemy, which uses long-range aircraft and army aircraft and frontline aircraft and tanks and ground artillery and artillery fire from ships. The office of the president, Ukrainian diplomacy, the cabinet of ministers and the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine are making great efforts to firstly evacuate civilians from the Azov Stal plant and secondly to help our military using political and diplomatic channels, which are the only available in the current situation. The Russian army is suffering huge losses in the areas of the main strikes. That is why it is moving very slowly. This is usually due to the fire advantage of our defenders, who maneuver and retreat to the better positions to avoid direct enemy attacks. Although it is far from always possible, and the only consolation for us is that the enemy bears much more losses. Our troops have made some progress in the Kherson and Kharkiv directions, as we can see from the reports of the representatives of the General Staff and the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. They provide accurate data on which settlements are currently being liberated. Thus, we have tactical success there, and this is a clear example of the liberation of our territory from invaders. Under certain conditions, this tactical success can be developed into operational and help our troops fighting the enemy to the south. As for today, the enemy has lost 24,900 military personnel, plus 200 per day, 1,110 tanks, plus 18 per day, armored combat vehicles, 2,000 point six hundred and eighty six plus thirty five units per day artillery systems five hundred and two plus three per day multiple launch rocket systems one hundred and seventy one plus two a day anti aircraft warfare systems eighty three aircrafts one hundred and ninety nine plus three per day there is one more aircraft left, and it will be 200. Helicopters, 155. Motor vehicles and fuel tankers, 1,926 units. Combat ships and boats, 11. Unmanned aero vehicles of operational tactical level, 324 units, plus 12. And special equipment, 38 units and more than 90 cruise missiles. Today the Ukrainian infantry is making its professional holiday. I also belong to their ranks. I would like to say that there is no better fate than to be an infantryman, no more honorable rank in the world than that of a Ukrainian infantryman from a private to a general. The glorious Ukrainian infantry was famous on the battlefields throughout Europe for several centuries. 
and today the whole world and the whole professional society is surprised at the qualities that the Ukrainian infantry demonstrates. This is a more heroic type of troops. Infantry is ordinary, marine, airborne and many other types of infantry. This is a more heroic type of troops. Regular infantry, marine, airborne and many other types of infantry. These are infantrymen who go into battle with the enemy. There is such a good expression – black shoes, black work. And this means that these people bear the brunt of the war and I am honored to belong to this military unit. I hope that the Ukrainian infantry will put an end to this war and the existence of our enemy. So, brothers in arms, let me congratulate you on this day and wish us all the best. Eternal memory to those who died for Ukraine. Everything will be Ukraine. Believe in the armed forces. Believe in our people. Glory to Ukraine.